everyone, welcome to Super Quest Saga, the show where we here at the Dungeon Cast get online and play some Dungeons & Dragons. My name is Will Stark, and I shall be your lawful Dungeon Master for this evening. Joining me as always is... Josh Freeland, playing Sebastian Crenshaw, Oathbreaker Hexblade. I am your special guest, Jake, playing Persephone Gold Petal, Furball Druid. Uh, I'm Brian, and today I'm going to be playing Codename Echo, who is a space wizard in space, <laughs> and does other stuff too, like fight and rogue. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. They do it. You yeah. do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right, guys. So last time, a lot of stuff happened. Um, we started off uh, in the aftermath of the death of a beloved character, and you guys were stranded for days in intergalactic or interstellar space. And eventually, you guys um, made contact with the Arcadian Elves and made your way to the planet of Arcadia and to the district of Haven, which is where. Echo grew up? I would say Echo grew up here. Yeah, he was yeah. born there. He was born here. Yes. Yeah, born and grew up there. And here you guys met a civilization of refugee um, imperial runaways. Um, anything from elves to singers to dwarves and gnomes and humans as well. And you guys made contact with the council um, and had a meeting with them later that evening. You guys... Um, Found Watt in a tough spot. He's he's going through it, and it's looking kind of bad. You guys uh, made contact with the Singers to try and help Prim. Um, unfortunately, uh, although they've shed a lot of light on the situation, they um, they require a, a powerful focus with some healing properties to to give them the boost they need to to get it done to undo the seal on her body. Um, so they told you to go to a planet called Thalassia or th- uh, the. S- yeah, Thalassia, um, which is deep in Draconic Star Sovereignty Territory. And um, also Echo. Echo has a secret. <laughs> yeah, a, a, sec- a secret public to everybody oh. that heard it. <laughs> but there's p- in we, character we people know. that didn't hear it or we know, know about know. it. So I guess the first question is, Echo, do you, do you keep your word and not tell your allies? Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to do that for at least a little while. Um, so what was the rundown? I have to keep it a secret for now because I'm not really sure why. I know it's bad to like have these things. I think it it was pretty much stated that the reason that you have to keep a secret is because like, obviously you guys are having hostility with Illithids. Yeah. And they don't know if they could trust your allies to keep the peace that's been sworn for these guys. Okay. Um, so even though I can't, cause uh, oh, let me see where Echo has been in terms of... Echo doesn't really know the history of the good and bad Illithids, does he? No, he doesn't, actually. Okay. So then, like, I guess, but I'll probably eventually try to get a beat on how Sebastian and Percy feel about it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, and, like, kind of beat around the bush and not, like, get so direct, I guess. Right. With, like, I'm not going to say there's some... we got some held up here. <laughs> what do you think? It'll, it's, it'll be more like... Uh, so what's up with the ill at the... I'll just try to info gather. You know? Oh, I like that. That's cool. Okay, so you... But you are keeping a secret for now. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, for now. Okay. And the next thing I want to ask is, what do you guys do in preparation of leaving? Um, you guys don't have to leave right away, but across the galaxy is a long ways, even with a spaceship that can travel faster than light. We're looking at at least a few weeks to get it. Uh, deep into Draconic Star Sovereignty territory. You guys are wanted across pretty much every system. I don't think there's a single nation uh, territory where you guys aren't technically wanted. Probably so, not, Except no. for me. Except for Echo. <laughs> Hell yeah. Um, good for me. Mm-hmm. I, just I, just kill your character, guys. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it'll be all good. No, no worries at all. <laughs> but yeah, do you guys have any ideas or, well, about preparation or anything I, I think, like that? I uh, think Sebastian, he's going to go through the ship, kind of take an inventory of what they have. And see what they need, just general supplies, even like food, medical well, supplies. Idea. Yes, but Any, remember it, that the Dragonforge can't be flown without Prim, so you guys have to take the Halberd. Oh, that's right, that's right. Which is a small vessel. That's right. And comes with its own problems. Because yeah. it's not like you could walk around the Halberd. It's not like you have a room. It's just the like, Halberd was Or, sorry, not the Halberd, the Starling. Yeah, Starling. I was going to say, Apologies. we lost the Halberd. Yeah, the Halberd's gone. Sorry, yeah. Starling. <laughs> Um, there was something else that somebody on Discord mentioned that we lost that like I did not account for. <laughs> I will look it up now while we talk about what's going on. So yes, we will need um, rations. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Rations, good, mm-hmm. good thinking, Freeland. Yeah, whatever else. If, see if they will give us any, you know, supplies. 
you know, for any grenades, any, you know, anything along those lines. <laughs> you know, I, need, I, need, I need to stock up, you know. Uh, what's up with your force grenade, uh, you know, stock? Can you have know. some? I, think I, I mean, di- uh, here's the thing. Did, weren't you guys outfitted by the Iron Legion? And I don't know if you ever used any of that stuff. I used some of the grenades. Oh, okay. Carter's dead. Yeah, I, I, I have a feeling oh. a lot of that stuff was on the ship, though, too. I, I think, oh, yeah. No, it's gone you know, now. So. I, just, I just find it <laughs> yeah. funny that you're asking for more, it. but I don't remember you guys ever using much of it. Mm-hmm. Was it? Um, I don't think Haven's willing to give you guys uh, too much, militarily speaking. Mm-hmm. They are small. They got to protect themselves. They don't got a lot sure. to spare. And generally speaking, they're also a very peaceful people. Yeah. Oh my God! No one. Okay, it was our tax. Thanks, Kem. Um, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, Nobody yeah. even dead. brought up our tax. I don't <laughs> yeah. think. Yeah. No, I killed our tax. R.I.P. We handled that. Oh, and Mega Mash companions, mm-hmm. and Bass's old world armor. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That yeah. That's a pretty comprehensive list. Thanks again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Bringing up um, those old memories. <laughs> yeah. Sorry for that. It was organic. Yeah. It yeah. happened. Yeah. Thank you, Discord. What were you saying, Jake? Um, I don't think I was saying anything. I was just agreeing with Freeland <laughs> <laughs> that we oh, okay. needed. <laughs> that so we yeah, needed but they'll the... they'll hit you up with like medical supplies and yeah, some yeah, food yeah. and stuff okay. like that. Like that's not a problem. My house is clean. I'm keeping an eye out for my folks, and um, I'm gonna reshuffle my spells around because I probably have access to like archives that I haven't seen an, like an updated version of for ten years. Mm-hmm. Um, that's kind of how I pictured Echo and other Blade Singers getting spells. Is like there's a database that they can choose from. Mm, mm. They kind of keep in their like their spells known. Yeah, and I like wizard, that. That's like cool. switch kind of digitally got switch stuff book. out. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You got a digital file. That's okay. awesome. Yeah. So there's um, there's some new there's some new stuff going on, but it's the same stuff as the last few episodes. I just haven't used any of it yet. It's gonna like wait to justify it somehow. Okay. Um. Uh, there was some other stuff because we were working on a magic item for Echo. So right. I kind of wanted to tie that into this trip too. And like that database of information where um, I could like research what it has come in terms of upgrades mm-hmm. in this area. Sure. Like maybe there's like a firmware I can get for my armor. Sure. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> I mean, this would be the place to get it. So, I mean, you could do that. You guys got a few days here. So, um, yeah. Oh, and I want, <laughs> I want to visit the graves of the fallen. Um, my comrades that, that went down in that mm-hmm. incident and their families because i knew them mm-hmm. and i feel like i owe them an explanation okay so i do while in my week my few days i'm gonna make my rounds okay and like make sure that i talk to everybody that deserves to be spoken to so echo's gonna be pretty busy you probably you won't be seeing much of him in the next few days guys. i think i only need to sleep for four hours so he'll be he'll be making his rounds and he'll be working at the academy on his armor. Is it armor or the weapon that you're working on? It's kind of both. It's all okay. the same technology. So, okay. Um, so we'll say you're working on that and then you can let us know what that does. We already talked about it, so you can just oh neat you know, tell okay. the audience. Cool. Yeah. It's been a while. I'll, I'll you can tell me if I remembered it all correctly okay. when I start talking about it. I vaguely remember. And we'll write it down. Said. Me too. I also <laughs> vaguely remember it. Okay. Uh, anything else, guys? Uh oh no well uh Echo's ship is it um I know you're like a smuggler and everything does it have stealth capabilities like is it gonna be able to get us across space um, and that's, time That's a good question I'm sure it can get us to where we need to go like Yeah you're like, you're a smuggler adventure. you have um stealth capabilities but also like you know backwater ways um refueling stations that maybe are illegitimate and not well monitored and stuff like that you know the backwater paths to get to most places yeah it's more like it's more like that it's not it's not necessarily like the ship can go invisible although that's something that maybe i can explore with will but um it's more like i can just go to a place where we're not going to be detected and like we could lay low there the people there will keep our secrets it's like a my background feature so sick we can rely on it Okay. Okay. Cool. So the last year is a water world, um, pretty mm-hmm. much ent- across the entire galaxy. Because you guys, where you are now, you are in the very outskirts of the outer rim. Like you're very close to. If you go in a couple different directions, you'll enter intergalactic space where there is nothing and no stars, no like absolute void. Mm. Um, and you guys now got to travel back inward along the uh, galactic 
plane. There we go. That's the word I'm looking for. Yeah, I was trying to call my friend Pigeon to see if he, we can hold up in his garage, but he's not answering. He's <laughs> like a little too sketchy sometimes. So <laughs> now we're here. So we're going to fast forward after lunch if there's nothing else anyone wants to do. No, I, I think Sebastian's going to stay out of the town. He's not comfortable. He's going to stay out and hang out oh, yeah? shit for okay. the most part. I mean, you got a giant dragon ship to sleep in, so. Yep. (laughs) It's been a couple weeks of traveling across the galaxy, and the going is slow as the party is uh, full of wanted fugitives. Except for me. Except for Echo, (laughs) who has been forced to use his smuggler knowledge to get the party into Draconic Star Sovereignty territory undetected. Um, And you guys are at a backwater way station refueling the Starling. (laughs) <laughs> and so you guys find yourself in a situation where you're on, mm, it's like a s- satellite, maybe big enough to house a population of like 3,000 people. And there's like some restaurants, there's like some gift shops. Some people <laughs> live here. There's mechanic shops and stuff like that. But you guys are in the boondocks and you guys got three or four hours to kill. What do you guys do? Oh, no, Jake. We're back in Fraser Park. <laughs> oh, no. We are. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, sorry. Uh, sorry for the people of Fraser Park. Yeah. Um, it's, not, it's not that bad. Uh, um, so when the Starling refuels, it has like a little hummingbird style thing that comes out of its uh, its, <laughs> its front end. <laughs> That's cool. And it sits up like it's, you know, a bird. Uh, yeah, for sure. water. Absolutely. That's <laughs> so what that's happens. that's what's going on outside. Um, you def- that definitely draws some eyes because <laughs> most ships don't do that. <laughs> so you get like the man. Oh, look at this one. He's yeah. custom. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, what do you guys do? Hmm. You guys can get some grub. You guys can go shopping. You guys can. Hmm. I imagine you guys are trying to be disguised through Lalo in some sort of way. Should we? Should me and Bass stay on the ship, or you go and get like food for us? You just Echo, stay in the seats. <laughs> yeah, uh, I guess I guess that's a good idea. Um, we can put in our order uh, via this this application I have on my bracer jack. And they just bring it right so, to our windows. They can bring it right to the car here. <laughs> dump, dump, dump. And then we can pay for the food and the bird seed in one sitting. Yes. Oh, sorry, I call gas bird seed. Mm-hmm. That's weird. I give my ship some fucking bird seed on it. Yes. <laughs> so you guys are gonna you guys are gonna order delivery? Uh, yeah. Okay. Sure. sure. All right. Let's do this. Um, what do you order? Oh. Where are we? <laughs> I'm too worried about You're in a backwater way like. station with, uh, without a name. It has no name. It's a completely illegal establishment. It's not supposed to be here. Oh, do I have like, uh, do I have secret Yelp? Um, do I have Wisp, the Whisper app? <laughs> you can probably call the establishment. There's probably like a, a list of the different establishments that exist on this way station. Okay. You can probably call them directly and see if they deliver. I accidentally call like the fucking mechanic next door and yeah. all the number, numbers are like scrambled. Yeah, <laughs> wrong number. Wrong, oh, wrong okay. number, buddy. Okay, I switched the digits there. All right. And then I, I call the right spot. Okay. I'm going a, I'm to a roll dice here. Okay. <laughs> whether I'm going to give you guys a hard time or not. Um... Evens or odds? Uh, odds. Okay. I went evens last time. Okay. I was succeeded. I forgot what that was for. It's evens. That's bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> it's a 10. So you call to see if you can get order for delivery. I'm sorry, sir. We don't deliver. We're a sit-in dining restaurant. No, uh, you see, uh, my name's Todd, and I'm on the Whisper app, and it says that you do bring it out to the car. Uh, we don't offer that service here, maybe at other franchises. Well, it's a per I, franchise basis. Can you leave it at the front <laughs> counter, and I'll pick it up there? Yes, you can carry out. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I think I'll do that. Okay. All right, so I think you guys order some food. Are yeah. you sure you can <laughs> just bring it out? We're in the bird. We're in the bird one. I, looking I don't one know where that is, sir. I have, no, look I have outside. No You'll see about. it. You'll see I'm, the bird. We're, we're, we're in the town, sir. Oh, I pictured like a strip mall. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Well, there is kind of that, but there's all, people do live here. There's 3,000 people that live here. Oh, so it's at like an actual like town really set up. It is like Station. Fraser Park. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just um, go get our food. <laughs> okay. We we'll call this Fraser's Way Station. The Fraser's Way Yay. Station. <laughs> In the grapevine. Okay, I'm going to go get mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, yeah. So I disguise self um, as Todd. 
uh, who looks like a trucker. <laughs> okay. You disguise yourself as, I take it he's human? Uh, uh, he, uh, hmm, no, because that would be boring. I'm a, okay. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a bullywug. Uh, well, that's I'm a, rare. I'm a space yeah. frog. I like that. Uh, space they're frog. They're trucker. probably all freighter kit pilots, all the bullywugs. And they wear <laughs> sure. jeans and flannels yeah. with wife beaters underneath and straw hats. <laughs> Jesus. <I love> <laughs> So you no shoes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You go to the restaurant, which we'll uh, affectionately call Spacey's, mm-hmm. um, <laughs> and you order like uh, well, I don't know. You tell me what you guys ordered at Spacey's. Oh, uh, could I get a club, please? <laughs> Absolutely, <laughs> like a club sandwich. Yeah, a club sandwich with like, like an a order club <laughs> or like a regular, uh, just like a, a turkey. Chicken club. Yeah, uh, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> please, <laughs> chicken club just with a like sp- a side of fries, please. <laughs> Sorry. Space space fries. Fries. Seb, Seb wants a couple steaks. Yeah, that's mm. it. He's good. Oh, nice. Some, just some steaks. <laughs> they do have ribeye on the Spaces menu. <laughs> they absolutely it's, do. It's 16 credits a shot. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's going to be well done. Oh, it man. just, don't, like, they'll ask you how you want it. It's going to be well oh, done. Terrible. <laughs> terrible. Um, uh, I got the chicken strip salad. Mm. Okay, cool. <laughs> Sounds good. I feel uh, like probably only takes you about. 20 minutes of meandering about town to find the place. And uh, you do so. And, yeah, the food's ready. And it looks out ready. They they charge you. You pay. You head on your way back. Is there anything you want to do while you're out here? Or are you just making a beeline and making a beeline back? Oh, did you get uh, the, the credits on the credit card yet? Is this no, the place we haven't to do ta- that? We, definitely this road trip is going to be where I do it, <laughs> for sure, because I'm go- already going to be talking to my CD friends. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Um, but I probably had... To have Bass um, oh, space mow me some money. Yeah. <laughs> Done. Mm-hmm. Space Did you want to do that while you're here in the way station? Um, uh, n- no, I want to do it at one of my safe houses. Because there's going to be, like, is this one of my safe houses? Are it could we- be. We could make a safe house here at, at Fraser's way station. If, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> if I had a safe house at Fraser's way station, um, I would have to come up with a name. Uh, but... Yeah, that would be that would be a cool thing. Um, we shouldn't have eaten out. Let's say there's not a, a, a safe station here, and that there's our next stop is where it is. I don't know. It's up to you, man. You don't have to have one here if you don't want it. Um, what do you guys think? Should I have a, a safe house here? Are we going to stay in Fraser Park for a long time? <laughs> I don't I think, think we're so. going to gas up and go, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Let's just get one. our <sighs> let's just get our spaces and go. Mm-hmm. Okay. It'll be at the next spot. Yeah. Gotcha. Again, you guys are going to be here for a few hours, but. You go ahead. You you grab the food. You bring it back. I guess everyone's eating in the in the cab. Try not to make a mess. <laughs> Trying to uh, eat my steak with a plastic fork. Like, oh shit! It broke. It keeps breaking. Damn it! No, I have silverware here. Oh, it's, now you tell me. Fine. Thank you. So I, I didn't. I didn't. Oh. Uh, anyway, here uh, use these trays, and okay. there's these trays that fit to the consoles of with the chairs that everyone's mm, sitting on. Nice. Like, you eat on it. And it's like if you spill something, pick it up. Okay. <laughs> need to invest in the ship. Hey, everyone give me a dexterity safe. <laughs> <laughs> I need to invest in ship Roomba. I need to find a um I need to find a gelatinous cube. You do, you do. We'll make that happen. Next dungeon. Seb got a twelve. Oh, that's good enough. Yeah. Am I making I mean, you're one just too? Eating food. It's like it's not like you're trying to eat food upside down or <laughs> yeah. some weird shit. Sorry, you don't want my hands. This is this is butts to roll bad on. <laughs> I got a dirty twenty. Ooh. Okay, you're good. Um what's my Oh I was gonna make you roll. I got actually. a ten. You're fine. It's okay. your ship. You're fine. It's my You've ship. You've done this enough. It's, to I'm know. spill proof in here. Exactly. <laughs> um, so you guys finish up your food. Is there anything else you want to do while you waited this few hours? Oh, you know, in all the downtime, Echo's been like hitting you guys with Space Jams. Mm. Not the movie Space Jam with Michael Jordan. Like, if only though. The like music of spa- the music of the gla- the galaxy. Mm-hmm. Oh, I, okay. I, Tell Percy, you think you're connected to the galaxy, but wait until you hear this song. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait until I get more drugs and then hit me with this. <laughs> I know she's like fervently growing a small, like, like a collection of pots in the corner yeah. of Starling yeah, yeah. now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, are you going to ask them about Illithid stuff? Yeah, um, that's another thing we should probably talk about in the downtime. It's like, um, okay, so we would probably... What do you guys think chance of uh, of Illithid encounter is not in this Dragon Star Sovereignty, but perhaps in what comes after? Like the 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 bad Illithids that we just fought, those dudes. 
Yes, they're... they're uh, because you've got the, the inky ones that are all crazy looking and the, the other ones that don't look so crazy. Yeah, that's okay. So <laughs> uh, I didn't realize there was a differentiation between between the two. Yeah, when our uh, when our friend um, betrayed us the, the, the first time. Well, I guess there was only the one time uh, we were getting attacked <laughs> by corrupted illithids. And then um, what seemed like pure blooded illithids came and they were actually uh, benevolent to us and helped us escape and uh, so that was cool not to not to be an illithid that wanted to kill us it seems this crawling chaos has affected them and that is the where the corruption comes from you think uh, this, uh, this we think so yeah mm-hmm. right Possibly. Seb we know, we know his name so. right um, do we just call him the Crawling Chaos? I don't want to like deviate from. Canada. I don't know if you guys do know his name because it's not like Carter told you, and there's nothing been written about him. Yeah, and it's not like wasn't Vol- it in Voldemort. a fucking? I had trouble saying Voldemort. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's not, he's not like he who should not be named. Yeah. Um, wasn't it in a Zahn recording? Oh yeah, yeah. No, but he just says the Crawling Chaos. He doesn't say Nyarlathotep. No, I'm pretty okay, sure so you we'll, you dropped the name. Did, did I? I'm pretty sure. Mm. Okay. We'll go with it then for now. Yeah, Jake I, is a Jake is the on podcast, the live historian. <laughs> yeah, so I, I, so. I would take I would take his word on this yeah. one. Yeah. We have an off we have an off mic historian. Yeah. And she knows who she is. Yeah, she'll she'll correct me. I'm sure, but I'm pretty sure. <laughs> but um, but either way, you do know that there is a thing, and you know it's either Nyarlathotep or the Crawling Chaos at the very least. Well, let's just be safe and reference it as the Crawling Chaos. So this Crawling Chaos is uh, is the source of this corruption then. Yeah, I believe so. He's the uh, the man in charge in, of uh, your friend Carter. These illithids, those creatures we fought. In, yeah, he seems to be uh, the puppet master of behind all this. Hmm. Yeah, aspiring yeah, to f- blank out the galaxy and destroy us all. It seems. And he can't even scry him. You can't use divination magic on him. Uh, no. The last time I did that, I saw some real bad shit. <laughs> right, and I know about that. That's like one of you the do? one of the earlier things that yeah. Echo experienced. Yes. Okay, that pretty much will catch me up. So now that I know that there are there's a split between Illithids, um, I might reconsider talking to my friends about what was revealed to me. Mm-hmm. But I'm still having trouble understanding its significance to the story. Like. I don't know any of the details. Like, why are they there? You don't. You don't know. I, I, and you could have asked. The episode ended. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is the next. Yeah. This but is the then, next opportunity. So, well, so no. What, what I mean oh, is, like, we can flashback. Yeah, that would be great. What okay. do I know? I'm asking you now. What do I know about the situation with? So, what kids? what questions would you have asked? What the fuck? <laughs> um, also, why the fuck? Okay. And when the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> so we'll flash back to that moment with with the five in there you will we'll say you guys left them to their own devices and close the door and on your walk back you were asking gendrick questions and gendrick said <clears throat> they they arrived about a month ago um Ooh, soon fugitives from their own people as far as what we could tell um, Ooh, that's roughly the same as the timeline of one of the encounters isn't it like what happened to us a month ago i think you guys were just coming off the heels of dealing with the Carter stuff and then yeah, we're that working tracks. your way into hell. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, fugitives of their own people. Normally we would have turned them away, but they gave over their ship and all their weapons to us. Mm-hmm. They completely disarmed themselves and essentially put them at our mercy. And oh, um, the council met over it and we decided that the resources that they gave us were incredibly valuable and the fact that they were willing to give them up and essentially dress in rags and that they agreed to live on the outskirts of town made us willing to trust them and this is supposed to be a place of safety from tyranny and they came from a place of tyranny okay uh and they haven't shown any hostility obviously or they'd be gone no um how much should Echo know about Illithids before 
that encounter? I mean, you probably don't know much. You probably know about what anyone else knows. Like, they're an imperial power, as far as you know, that dwells right. in the dark places of the galaxy where no one goes. Mm-hmm. And nothing comes in. Nothing goes out. Anyone who crosses the border or gets too close gets involved in raids and skirmishes. It's mostly the Gith Dominion Armada. But, um, but yeah, that's about it. There's not much to know. You know they have psychic powers. Um, they're considered to be, like, a malicious people. Like, you know, they're boogeymen in yeah, the dark. they're monsters. Yeah. Man, I couldn't stop thinking of Willy Wonka's chocolate factory in space. <laughs> Nobody ever goes in. Nobody ever comes out. So I would like everyone to give me a perception check. Here we go. That's really good. I have elf perception. Nice. So that's going to be... Uh, 22. Very good. Anyone else? 10 for uh, Seb. A 9 for Percy. <clears throat> okay, so, Echo, your sharp elven ears. My elven ears. <laughs> what do my elven ears see, William? <laughs> uh, you hear over the munching of everybody in the in the Starling. Um, <laughs> the <laughs> blaring... Um, what's it? Quick frilly. Like alarm? Your Not alarm. That's not the right <laughs> sound, uh, description, but it's like a blaring electronic uh, indicator that the main gates to the way station are being closed, which mm. are usually only done like during like specific hours when there's not no one on shift to like watch the the docks. Mm. And uh, you know it's not that time. You, you, oh, this fuck. place isn't set to close for like Walk probably down. eight hours. <laughs> Get ready to fight freelancers. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so what do you uh what do you do when you hear this? Um so I know that that's wrong. Yeah. Um, this place is closing prematurely. That would be like, I'm just going to absorb all the words you said and turn mm-hmm. them into Echo's words and be like, that's not right. There should be. And I'm like checking my bracer jack. He's like, Whisper App says it's not supposed to close for another <laughs> X amount of time. So yeah, eight hours. Eight hours time. Uh, highly suspicious. Um, so these gates are closing. So we're going to be trapped in here. Yeah. Yeah. You could attempt to try and escape now as, as the giant heavy gates begin to seal, come down closed. What's our fuel situation? I don't want to drive away uh, with the fucking You've been pose. here for like an hour and a half. So half, halfway. I mean, you're still hooked in, but you're like halfway. I could probably yeah. you could try and detach and all that. I could probably automate the detachment. Okay. Like, I'll have my baby better just so, speed up a little bit. So yeah. So you, <laughs> <laughs> so you like, you punch in the stuff to like, uh, emergency detach and, uh, it won't detach. The the system's got you hold, held in to its place. Oh, it's not no. letting go. Oh no, oh no, <laughs> oh no, 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 e- e- no. Echo, no. what's going on, Echo? <laughs> Echo, yeah, what what's the wrong? Hell? I, I, this does not. I'm seem trying right. to detach from the fuel pump, but they they're choking my baby. <laughs> what are you doing? And what? it's at this point <laughs> it won't let go <laughs> that six large figures actually drop from the high ceiling. They rappel down from like cables. And they crunch into the concrete six. Bam, 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 bam. And they form a circle around the starling. Four of them are dressed in legionnaire armor, full plate. Oh, shit. Two of them are in azure blue scale armor with full electronic wings. These are obvious to Sebastian, especially as um, draconic star sovereignty elite troops called dragoons. And one in the center, facing all of you guys that you can see, is one black dragonborn named Captain Arvin Davarat. Oh, (laughs) shit. (laughs) Cappy Davy. (laughs) We've been been sent to take you in. Don't resist us. Lay down your arms and come peacefully. I don't have arms. I have wings. I'm just going to try to fucking take off. Dude, uh, I mean, you're going to severely damage your ship. Hooked into the front. That's it. Yeah. That's all it's gonna take. Yeah. Oh, that would have been so cool. Just punch it. <laughs> would, I was about to say punch it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, you can, and like you'll be okay. But like you'll have to get somewhere to get like a whole system pulled out, and then your your whole gas intake repaired, and you'll be on limited gas. Oh but my god. You can god. if you want to. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Bess, what's the word? You got the final say on this. I'm ready. I'm, I, I'll go. I'll fucking do that shit. I'll fucking hit it. <laughs> you can fucking do it, dude. That'd be uh, hilarious. I, I don't know what we should do here. We, I feel like we can't make a stand with him. I know Davarax. I know what he's capable of. We can't get uh, arrested again. I, I, this is all, all bad. I, fuck. God damn it. Stay or go. Right oh, now. Oh, shit. Stay or go. 
go. Oh, man. <laughs> Echo, I don't want you to hurt, to hurt your baby here, though, man. You guys are you guys are on a time limit. Yep. You always hurt the ones you love. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. Uh, I don't think there's anything I can really do to. Do I have a cut gas line spell? <laughs> no, <laughs> you do not. Um, hold on a second. 60 feet. What if I use the knock spell? It's not a door. Choose an object. The object can be a door, a box, a chest, or a set of manacles, a padlock. It's none of those. Another <laughs> object that contains mundane or magical means that prevents access. There's preventing, they're preventing our access to leave. A target that is held or shut by a mundane lock that is stuck or barred becomes unlocked, unstuck, or unbarred. Unstuck, Will, it says unstuck. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If the object has multiple <laughs> locks, only one no. of them is unlocked. If I choose a target that is shut with arcane lock, that spell is suppressed for 10 minutes. I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> saying a this hard looks no. pretty oh, no. good. No, 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 no. It's got some real like <clears throat> signifiers in there that this mm-hmm. is for this. It, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's not. But. I could I could cast suggestion and ask it to just you could. get out of my you face. You could do that. <laughs> how um, how hmm. strong does this like fuel line look? That's what I'm saying. Like, can we? Just I mean, her, essentially, like, he would probably be able to pull the ship out. It would do damage to the ship itself. Yeah, you would pull along with the ship this fuel apparatus arm. And then when it came to repairing it at a later date, like it would have to be some pretty heavy machinery to like get in there, strip it out, and you probably need to replace your entire fuel intake. Well, what system. about the, the the fuel line itself, the apparatus itself? Oh, it's pretty. Yeah, it's pretty sturdy. It's really. Uh, Shit. It's probably like a good foot and a half thick. I'm of wondering. Like hard steel. Will it? And whatever ally. <laughs> will it withstand an attack from the cosmic elemental? It's a big fucking raptor. I mean, you could try. I I'll make up some s- stuff for it right now. Like, no, we're like eating inside the ship. Like, oh yeah, you guys are inside the ship. Yeah, like that's what I'm saying. Like, if I could just I knock, out, you cannot <laughs> knock. You cannot <laughs> knock this thing. I'm saying I can. Um, I can pop the airlock, change, because I can do space flight with the cosmic. Yeah. At that point, we're rolling initiative. Though. Yeah, it's too late. Um, Fuck. and it looks aggressive. Like just taking off is one thing, but like, yeah, getting out there to do attacks yeah. is like a totally. Also, different... remember you would be you'd be taking off and making some sort of like check versus this thing. Once yeah. you pulled out of it, you have you have to make the beeline to for the gate. Yes, and get there in time before it closes. Sebastian, can't all right. You it talk seems like we're him? stuck. Let's yeah, let's <laughs> negotiate. Let's go. For, let's go for yeah. negotiations. Um, so I, I, I'm assuming the the Starling has like a intercom or like a loudspeaker or something. Sure, like you that, can right? talk to like, it on a PA out. It's gonna sound all gurgly because the, the the gas coming through the mouth part. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ! I'm uh, just kidding. Like yeah. it's, it's probably still gassing up as this is going on. Before you yeah. do this, uh, Sebastian, I'm gonna touch you on the shoulders and I'm gonna cast enhance ability and Ooh. give you advantage on charisma checks. <laughs> mm-hmm. oh, just okay. real quick. Just real quick. <laughs> I'd be like, you got this, Seb. Get him to get, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to disguise self back into Hank. <laughs> <laughs> okay, for sure. <laughs> All right. I think it's Sebastian's going to say something, so yeah. go ahead. Devrax, the galaxy is held in the balance right now. You don't understand what we're up against. If we don't continue our mission, I, I think it spells doom for us all. Is that it? Uh, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, you're, you are compromised, Crenshaw, regardless of your intention. Our means are no longer aligned. We can no longer allow you to hold the Egress article. Her safety is a matter of national security, and we can't trust you. Mm. Mm. It's because you send people to hell now. That's why <laughs> they can't trust you. Is that just so I understand? It's because they're no longer in control of the situation. Yeah, because like, he took allegiance yeah. to a fucking like devil lord yeah. or something. I mean, they're a political entity. They essentially gave you guys a nuke with the understanding that you guys reported to them. Yeah. And you guys, your your guy who's supposed to report to them betrayed them and now reports to 
the devil. <laughs> yeah, and one and one random dude on their profile is fucking gone. Dead. Yeah, that too. Sold you that fucking. Too. And you guys disappeared off their grid for like however that few weeks when Come you guys on, went to hell. Pretty much. Yeah. yeah. yeah that's true. So they're like, we can't keep her with you. That's that. It's as politically speaking, like it would be like giving a nuke to a rogue party and realizing you fucked up. <laughs> okay, I'll hit. I'll I'll tap the mute button so no one can hear us. Uh-huh. Uh huh. We could tell him that we don't have her. Like, are you still Hank? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, in, I'm, I'm deep. Deep in character. Uh, deep in yeah, character. I, we we could tell him. We could tell him that we don't have her. They're gonna ask where she is. We could just tell her we don't know. We lost her. We got. You could lie. <laughs> we could try a lie. You, you could definitely. You want me to do uh, it? I could do it. It's Hank. I'm sure, go for it. You want me to do it? So that's <laughs> you do whatever you want to do, bro. Uh, we don't have the egress article. I'll let the mute. The, I realize I still have the mute, but not yeah. let it off. It's like, we don't have the egress article. This is Hank. <laughs> <laughs> this is Hank. Um, Dapper X says, um, whether you have the egress article or not, <laughs> Hank and Dapper X sound a lot alike. <laughs> <laughs> I hanked before you Dapper X. Dapper X has been a character for a long time. I was just trying to be a trucker guy. Okay. <laughs> now Dabrax whether you have the trucker. article or not. Uh, isn't important in this, in the current situation. You three are being taken in. No, there's you. There's no. It's not necessary. Cause you <laughs> said we can't have it, and we don't, and we don't even know where she is. So like, it's good. It's you, fine. You don't have, need to take anybody. In. You'll have to forgive the Legion if they can't take you at your word. We're bringing you in. You don't even know me. Uh, hit the mute. Come button. out peacefully. What are we gonna do? Are we gonna come out peacefully? Oh, what are we going to do? Are we gonna come out peacefully? No. <laughs> We can't, we can't get arrested a fucking again. Um, <laughs> First, he's like, my record, oh my, my record's in shambles. I ain't going back. Hold on. Um, it takes seven years to repair your police record or whatever. All right, you guys have taken a while, so Dabrax I, oh, is going to shit. signal. Hold on, uh, we should give Jake a chance to oh, do sorry, like Jake. Any, Go ahead. literally anything. Go ahead. Go ahead. I was just gonna, I was just gonna unmute and. Um, <laughs> Please, we can't go to jail again. <laughs> it's, it's a uh, Captain Daverax. I, I, we spoke at the trial of of. I can't remember what his title was. Was it Corporal? Ooh, was good. It corporal? I bet he loves that. Was it Corporal Crenshaw? Was mm-hmm. that what you were? Uh, yeah, Corporal Crenshaw was this. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we spoke at the trial of Corporal Crenshaw. Does the does the galaxy's safety not mean anything to you? <laughs> we are here trying to stop. <laughs> the literal end of the universe as we know it. She so, <laughs> better not fucking let us get away with this. <laughs> We're just screaming bullshit yeah, out the I intercom. I, I, you gotta remember too, like the it's Iron not, Legion doesn't really know. It's not bullshit though. Everything. I know it's not, but like he know he's gonna think it's bullshit. One hundred percent, he thinks it's bullshit. Or not, not all, maybe not 100% thinks it's bullshit, but he's like, we're screaming like the, like the world's going to end. Can like I at roll? this military Can guy. Can I do yeah. anything? Okay. Okay. So, uh, Crenshaw, I got, I'm getting my names and stuff. <laughs> Dabrax, he starts addressing, um, you guys as a whole. And he says, the strength of the Iron Legion and the strength of Dominion is the adherence to a code, the adherence to the ideas of mastery and ambition. I answer to my superior and they answer to theirs. And it goes all the way up the chain to commanding Galen Rigos himself. I am not in a position to negotiate, nor am I in a position to weigh the ethics or the morals of your decisions. I'm here to bring in Trader Crenshaw. I will give you to the count of four. He mm-hmm. begins to count off, and the dragoons open their fire up their wings, and you see the other legionnaires are getting ready to open fire. Where's the guns on this echo? Up front. They kind of they kind of <laughs> sit at the shoulders. Gotcha. Oh yes, yes, that's right. Okay. Um. So <laughs> like, I'm just gonna I'm gonna look at Bass like and look at the weapons console, <laughs> you know, yeah, like. I, w- would I would Bass know just looking at who's out there like what their strength is like? You're have looking an idea, at like what we're up against six level ten paladins. Oh god, Jesus! <laughs> You're looking at six Sebastians. Yeah. 
Oh, that's not a fight we can win. <laughs> like inside, the sh- not even inside. They're just gonna beat up my ship. Yeah, I I feel like Sebastian would have to tell us to, because we wouldn't know that that they're six yeah. Sebastian. I, I think I think Sebastian would relay. Hey guys, I I know what we're up against right now. I I don't think we can take them. I don't know. I don't even we use the ship. We're in a spot, guys. Hey go. Jesus. Mm. <laughs> um by the galaxy fuck man what do you think is gonna happen they're gonna take my ship i don't like that i didn't get a <laughs> chance to fucking do my credit card shit yet <laughs> let's surrender first so then we'll see what the fuck is going on <laughs> <laughs> surrender first <laughs> Well, uh, yeah, well, my they, hand is hovering over a button on my console that's yeah. got two swords crossed. Like, huh? Yeah. Okay, well, so are you guys surrendering? Well, or are you guys going to, like, hey guys, try They, they want it. me if we want. I mean, I can see if they'll just take me and let you guys go. I mean, we can't let you. It it crossed my mind. I, was, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I thought about Get it. Out, yeah, I mean, the pl- if you go, me. this is if my you own go the plot has to follow you there. So we'll follow you there. <laughs> Like, we might as well all go. I don't know if that's smart. I don't know. Um, Again, let's... Yeah, if, if you don't think we can win in a fight, then we have two options. One's to run, which Will's already kind of told us not to do. And the other one is to, like... <laughs> I did not tell you. I well, was actually looking forward to you giving it a shot. I wanted to really bad, <laughs> but um, it's too it's too late now, right? Like, it's, the doors are closed well, or I whatever. Mean, yeah, you guys have talked for a while. That's the problem. Yeah, we, we have cornered ourselves into... Negoti- negotiations failed. They're not going to negotiate, so we've cornered ourselves into giving ourselves up. Yeah, I don't have enough good psychic magic to take down a bunch of guys. Hmm. Uh, I, I don't. It's either I go. By the way, on my I said own six or... Sebastians. Like, what level are you guys? Eleven. Uh, yeah, we're pretty 11. strong. Okay, so yeah, it's almost six Sebastians. Yeah. Close. They don't have a sword though, and his other cool shit. Yeah, but like eighteen AC, five eighteen AC guys that can smite. That seems mm-hmm. seems like a bad time mm-hmm. for my HP. Like Probably. they're gonna take us one way or another. Um, yeah, go out there, Bass. Yeah, <laughs> get out there. I, I think Bastion would would go by himself. Tell them to stay behind. Okay, cool. So he'll open up, walk out. So how does a how does the Starling open up? What, what what does this look like on your ship? Um, probably, probably the butt. <laughs> all right but the, ba- the, the back, butt opens up yeah like it probably is typically you know now that i did this cool thing where it's like sitting up and like dipping to drink mm-hmm. we're probably inside something that stays upright all the time like mm-hmm. a glass can't spill in here mm-hmm. it just can't okay so um what do you call that um like, oh i know what you're talking about it's, yeah uh, there's a name for this there is and i don't know what it is off the top of my head so. basically we're in a big ball bearing and we uh-huh. are we like stay in it's, line with gravity I as the like ship that. moves. It's really fucking cool. It's like gyroscopic. So, gyroscopic. There we go. I'm pretty sure that's it. So um, you probably have to go down the same set of stairs and then whatever panel is down at the bottom mm-hmm. opens up. So I think maybe you're coming out the wiener. <laughs> sure. You, you're coming out the wiener. We'll say that. How about that? <laughs> um, like a little ladder. Great job. Maybe it's still yeah. its butt. Sebastian, know. you exit the vehicle. Everyone's got their guns raised. Arms they they're out. expecting you to lay down your arms. But what do you what do you do? What do you say? I walk out with my arms like straight out to the side of myself. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Davrax, it's me that you want. Let them go. You, you don't understand. If 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 you take all of us in, what we're up against, it we have no chance. There Davrax are. says. <clears throat> My orders are to bring in all of you. It starts with you three, but we're getting the Egress article as well. We're bringing this all the way up. We're, you're being turned over to the Germanic Star Sovereignty. This is already out of Iron Legion hands. Mm. Lay down then, your weapons. Then you spell doom for us all. <laughs> <laughs> he says, uh, lay down your weapons, Crenshaw. And you two come out as well. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you guys do it? Sure. S- stay in my secret stash pan, my drug panels. <laughs> you're you're going to try and hide? That would be chill. I can go, <laughs> I can become invisible and stuff. He already heard you talk, though. But <laughs> yeah, heard oh, yeah, you talk. Be, yeah, go for it. That's um, true. That's true. But he's expecting somebody to come out. I'll go out. 
Yeah. Okay. <laughs> pretend Persephone to be, comes out. Pretend to be Hank. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna hide up in here. <laughs> pretend to be Hank when he heard me yeah, talk. Yeah. Just tell him like it was. I was me. I was Hank. Jeez, <laughs> yeah. like, I was doing third, a voice. Was where's the thing, third you know? one? Like, nah, dude. I was. It was me the whole time. It was Do me, that shit. It was me doing a dub voice. Sure. We're gonna get something out of this encounter. I, I don't think so. <laughs> I'll come out with my with my staff up. Okay. Lay down your arms now, all of you. Put them on the ground. Fine. Yep. It's so that's the sword, the gun, any spare pistol, the staff. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Where's the third one? Hold on a second. <laughs> What um, can you guys buy me some time so I can read? It'll probably be funny. <laughs> Where's the third one? The third one? You mean you mean Hank? <laughs> I don't know where Hank's at. <laughs> so you do agree there's a third one named Hank? I don't know. That's what he said earlier. Hank, come out of the vehicle now. Who? Okay, hang on a second. Hank was um, me this whole time. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Give me a charisma check at a disadvantage. Uh, just a straight. I bet you won't have disadvantage if you deception. do the Hank voice. Do the Hank voice. It'll it'll get you a better a better DC. Uh, yeah, you need a Hank voice. Yeah, it was me the whole time. <laughs> All right, <laughs> <laughs> you, can, you can do it. No disadvantage. Go ahead. But okay, it's against uh, okay, 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 okay. Oh uh, fuck! It rolled into the wrong. Let me. It was cocked. Uh, ooh, that's a fourteen minus one thirteen. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. While that's going on, I'm going to become, uh, I'm going to cast greater invisibility on myself. Okay, cool. So you're invisible. Uh, mm-hmm. And I will exit the ship. Okay. I want to get in 30, <clears throat> within 30 feet of Davarak so I can try something, some mag- some psychic magic on it. <laughs> okay. Um, so definitely stealth with advantage, right? Or it's just, how does that work? You just can't be detected? Uh, you or a creature you touch becomes invisible until the spell ends. Anything that the target is wearing or carrying is invisible as long as it's on the target's person and it's a concentration spell of up to one minute. So I'm just fucking invisible. Okay, uh, you're yeah. invisible. Um, they're not looking for you. I, see, the thing is I want to give you stealth with advantage, but I also, I feel like it failing would be stupid. So yeah, I'll, like I'll I, let you, my unless you're doing something so high, dangerously but... loud, I'll, I'll I'll give this to you. I'm just gonna go down. So they're arguing whether Hank exists or not. What do you do? I'm just gonna kind of walk over to as close as I can get to um to Davrax, mm-hmm. and then can somebody help me with the rules of casting two concentration spells? Do I have to drop one to do another one? You do have to yeah. drop one to do the other one. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay, I am going to. Get behind Davarax mm-hmm. and draw my weapon mm-hmm. and put it to his throat. Mm-hmm. And then Jesus. I'm going to cast Suggestion, mm-hmm. dropping my invisibility. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's one action. Um, I suggest a course of activity limited to a sentence or two and magically influence a creature you can see within range that can hear and understand you. Creatures that can't be charmed are immune to this effect. I'm going to take it he can since he's a he dragonborn. He can be charmed. Okay. He's got high saves though. Yeah, I got to try. This yeah. suggestion must be worded in such a manner as to make the course of action sound reasonable. Um, asking the creature to stab itself, throw itself onto a spirit, immolate itself, or do some other obviously harmful act ends the spell. Target has to make a wisdom save. So the DC would be 17. And I'm going to tell him, I'm going to suggest to him, let us go and I will spare you. Okay. that And that's reasonable. <clears throat> so I really like this and I'm happy that you did it. I don't know if it's going to work out, but I just want to let you know got, I'm no, very happy. We got to be, we got to be, yeah. throw it to the wind, right? With so, these spells. So I'm burning six worth of slot. I just want you to know move. that Davrax has a plus eight wisdom save. Sure. And he's surrounded by paladins who give him another plus four. Uh, so he's I, got a plus 12. I have my paladin <laughs> counteracting all, the, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a, a 16 plus 12. Oh, oh, damn it. I was like, yes, I did it. <laughs> Sorry, oh, no. man. So, no. Um, I think you have to roll initiative now. Oh, I'm, I'm, I have yeah, yeah, my yeah, sword yeah. No, in his no. neck. Yes, absolutely. So, we'll, we'll allow you to get, like, an, an attack in. Uh, What about, like, a normal, um, like, I tried to suggest him, but, like, he's not going to buy, like, a, a persuasion to get him to, like, <clears throat> cease. Like, so, I okay. have their leader right, right. with a sword, you know. All right, okay. I know we have suggestion, the Dungeons and Dragons suggestion stuff. Suggestion doesn't work. Yeah. Everyone now has their guns aimed at you and him. He, your sword's at his neck. And he says, <clears throat> do you really think that I value my life over 
the orders of my religious order. Uh, I really. value my honor above my life. Take it if you will. These five will take care of the rest. They know their duty. Um, I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look at. I'm gonna try to give Bass like a knowing. A no, uh, um, hang on a second. Did I take that? I didn't take that cantrip. I'm just gonna try to give Bass like a knowing look. Like, like I'm gonna just look him in the eye and be like, <laughs> I'm gonna do this shit, Bass. Like, I'm I'm gonna give him a nod. Like. I'm expecting that so you're back. actually gonna, you're gonna do like, the, I'm going to go, I'm going to fucking yeah, yeah. stab this guy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Are we cool? Sebastian, what do you do? What do you do? I, I think at this point, Sebastian knows that he's in the wrong and there's probably no coming back from it. So he kind of gives him a look like if it goes down, I'm ready to go. <laughs> All right. So oh, before shit. we roll initiative, I'll allow you to do like an auto crit. Cool. Okay. So go ahead and auto crit Deverex. All right, I'm gonna auto crit Davarax. Um, so, oh me, my god! Remember my <laughs> sorry. I did my best, you guys. I did what I could. Um, so I'm gonna get, yeah, one d8 plus five. So I'm actually just gonna roll two d8, and then that's plus ten for damage. Mm -hmm. um, and then I'm gonna do sneak attack also. Okay, and that's um, crit. Yes. Okay, so that's a nine and five. So that's 14 plus 10 is 24. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then how many sneak attack? I just get an extra D6 for sneak attack, right? So I'll just roll two more D6 mm -hmm. here. Yep. Little sneak attack dice. Double sixes all oh, the way across the shit. sky. Holy shit. Um, okay, so yeah, that's 12. Okay. Uh, additional. So 24 plus 12 is 36. Mm -hmm. Damage on that. Okay. Um, uh, how is it? How's it looking for me? Second attack here. Um, I appreciate the one. Surely, I just want to know what to do next. You get you get two attacks. Yeah, per action. Works? Yeah, and I guess go for it. Like, it's fine. He's not even bloodied yet, so go ahead. Um, like you'll do some devastating damage to him, but um, I I don't know if you'll kill him, but I guess we'll find out. Uh, let's see. Target the first attacks and becomes. I'm also going to use, I'm going to hit him with my sword again, but it's going to be a booming blade for my cantrip as second attack. Okay. Um, so I surround him in booming energy um, and at fifth level, it's going to deal an extra D8. Um, am I ro just rolling a regular attack on him now? Um, or is we auto critting again? I mean, you have him in this helpless compromise position, so I'm going with it's an auto crit. Okay. Um, so it's going to do um, the normal damage. So I'm going to roll the two D eight. Uh, that's nine and eight is, uh, 17 plus 10. So 27. And then another, um, two D eight of thunder damage after that. Okay. Let me find my two D eights. Uh, so another seven on top of that. So 27 plus seven is 35. Yeah. Okay. 34, 34. Okay. All right, so now he's well bloodied, and there's blood all over, and you've you've like slit his throat, and he's looking in really rough shape. Everyone, roll initiative. <laughs> Shit. <clears throat> and I pre-rolled all six of these guys, so after you guys are ready, Will we'll, knew it was gonna go down. down. Look at that. <laughs> he was ready. He was ready. He hit the fan. Okay. Uh, all right, I got twelve plus my niche is four. Um. Oh, can I bonus action blade song for that turn? That um, sneak or is that too much? That, I think that's too much because it wasn't a true surprise round. Yeah, I'll I'll just <clears throat> wait for next turn. Can um sixteen? Any, did anyone beat a nineteen? No. Okay. I tied yeah, with that. Oh. oh, you did. Roll off. You beat a fifteen. Just a straight roll. Oh, it's a yeah. four. Never mind. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so it's gonna be Davarax and then Percy. And then, did anyone be a 15? No. Seb got 11. Uh, I did. 16. You did? So, Echo. And no, Sebastian? I got 11, so. You got 11? Okay, so. This guy. And then this guy. Uh, Sebastian, you're six in the order of nine. Mm. Sounds about right. Usually how it goes down. <clears throat> Uh, 
Alrighty, so the first thing that is gonna happen is Davrax up first. He's gonna land hands himself. Um, now I gotta look up how how much that is. I got this blade out his back. He's like, ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a uh, five times your level. Oh, so he can heal himself fifty, which is what he'll do. Damn, that was like my whole shit. Yeah. So he lays his hand on his throat, and like his hands begin to glow um, with a right radiant light, and the wound seals and then he begins to glow and he stands back up and he's not back at full life or anything but he's he's uh, definitely looking much better um let me see here i don't know what his bonus actions are so give me a second guys actions bonus action he's not going to do either of those things <clears throat> so he's going to stay where he is that's his turn uh next up percy you're up uh, um, two seconds. I was looking at bonus action myself. to pick up your weapon if you do do that or your staff. I mean, do I need it to cast spells? It is your focus, unless you have your old focus, whatever that was. It was my old staff. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So you need it. You need okay. to cast spells. You need to focus. Fuck. Okay. Um, focus. Well, then I will <laughs> bonus action grab my staff then. Because that seems important. Well, let me see what I'm going to do, because I was planning. Uh, how they're in a ring around us, as far as the Legion Around the everything. ship. So, like, you guys are mostly facing Davrox and the two Dragoons. The other three are beginning to come around the ship, and they're rushing in, and they're Legionnaires. They're about to make a sphere shape around us, I think. Catch my drift. So you said there were, <clears throat> there were three we Legionnaires did. and three Dragoons, including Davrox? Uh, Dabrax is also a legionnaire. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. That's why I have four. Um, then around... I mean, how close are all of us together? Like, Seb, Echo, and me. I imagine you guys are within five, ten feet of each other, right? I think... Uh, so, I, yeah, uh, you're gonna have to tell me. I just oh, walked except up to for, Dabrax Except is. for Echo. Echo, okay, so... I'm behind Dabrax. Let's Let's do some... Uh, Just because I want to plan uh, something. Positioning. And I don't want to. So, Davrax is 25 feet in front of Sebastian and um, Percy. Echo is next to him. And then 10 feet to the right and 10 feet to the left are the two dragon dragoons. Um, the other three legionnaires are essentially all 30 feet away from you guys. Um, one's completely out of sight because the starling's in the way, but the other two you guys can kind of see coming up on the right and left behind you. Then around, I'll pick up my, I'll pick up my trusty, dusty staff, draw a circle in the floor, and I'm going to cast Wall of Thorns mm. uh, around the two Dragoons, Davarax and Echo. And I will, um, let me see how big that can be. You're locking poor Echo in with them? <laughs> Oh, don't don't worry about locking me I in, can, dude. I can <laughs> teleport. Yeah, yeah. I, I I trust him to be able to get out. So I will make it um, twenty foot diameter, twenty feet high, five foot thick wall that surrounds them. Mm. Uh, when the wall appears, yeah, I, I I might hit you though, uh, Echo. That's the only issue. Do I want hit me, to, baby? It's it's <laughs> seventy eight, my man. Do you want to get hit by seventy eight right now? Mm, that sucks. It's a save. It's a deck save. Yeah. Is there? I guess there's no way for me to do this without hurting Echo. Yeah. Basically, what you're trying to do is like like put them in the middle of a giant bramble. Yes. But okay. I mean, it's gonna be a yeah, I don't think scramble. there's a way to do it without hurting Echo. Yeah, it, does no he have to way. roll if he moves or if he just exists in the space? Yeah, just when I'm the, sure he can teleport himself out. When, yeah. When the wall appears, the creatures within the area mm. need to make the save. So that's why I'm like, Ugh. Mm. can I um... do it? Do it, coward! <laughs> don't you egg me on right He's now? He's got high decks. He does, but it's still well, half you think damage. Is best. I mean, it's your turn. Uh, can I'm com I'm comfortable with you uh, doing it if you feel like it. So Echo is next in the turn. Can I hold my action and tell? Uh, I'll yell out to Echo. To go after him? Absolutely, you can. Yeah, and I'll yell out to Echo. Um, 
Echo, get out of there. I don't want to hit you. And I will hold the, like, final preparations of my spell until Echo is gone. And then I will bramble them. Mm. Is that is that cool with you, Will? Thanks. Totally cool with me. Okay. Echo, it's your turn. Okay. Um, so I'm technically engaged with Cappy Dabby mm-hmm. right now? Yes. Um, hmm. I could take a defensive action. That's fine. And Percy um, did just yell damn, at you. Damn, I should have been Hank. <laughs> Percy did just yell at you to get out of there. Can we retcon and say I was Hank for all of that? Sure. Since my uh, my disguise self is like an item based thing. Oh yeah, it doesn't require concentration. Right. Yeah, sure. Okay, so it's <laughs> it, you saw a bullywug trucker guy, <laughs> like a sweaty one, like mm-hmm. fuck up Davarax a little bit. <laughs> um, so I'll um, I'll go ahead and and blade song with my bonus action mm-hmm. here. And um, so then, like my form changes into echoes after mm. I played song up. At first, I'm a I'm a fucking like uh, like a chubby, uh, like armored clad robot mm-hmm. looking motherfucker, and then yeah. I become thinner. Okay. Uh, and I'll just drop the disguise self yeah. while I'm in my armor since I can't see my face. And now I will um, thunder step. Um, that's a third. That's a thirty. Uh, let's see. So within 10, so there, um, I'm going to take Davarax's side so I can hit, um, I can hit him and the other guy on the other side with this 10 foot, um, bounce. it's 10 foot from you. Yeah. Then yeah. Um, so I'll just like, um, <laughs> I'll, I'll turn and put my back to Davarax's back since mm-hmm. that's kind of how we were, but then I'll like spin around him and just kind of like look like I fade into him mm-hmm. and vanish and thunderstep. So he needs to make a um, a constitution saving throw, him and his homie. Him and the homie? Yeah. Um, so we got a 27 and a 22 to constitution save. They're going to take half of these 3d10. Okay. Uh, 13 Okay, so that's 16. You cut in half? Cut in half, so eight. eight. Um, the thunder can be heard from 300 feet away. Um, and it really echoes throughout this way station. How does his, um, was he carrying a weapon? Yeah. Yeah. What, what was it? He's got a sword. What would it take for me before I do this thunder step to try and take it from him before I thunder step? I mean, is thunder step uh, action? Then it's an action. Then nothing. I can't do it? No. Okay. Um, I also saw him because it, uh, it says I can take stuff. It would have been cool to take his sword with me. Yeah, that would be cool. <laughs> Um, and that's, I'm going to teleport myself to the point position behind, uh, Bass mm-hmm. and Persephone. So we'll sure. be making a little triangle right there. Nice. Um, and that will be my turn. I'm just going to, um, be ready, you know, mm-hmm. what's up y'all, I'm back. <laughs> we Hank, I lost weight. <laughs> <laughs> so now the ramble happens, Yes. Right? Yeah. So yeah. the second that she sees him out so, of there, go ahead. Bramble will erupt up and they need to make a deck save I think oh, we're really yeah. good at saves so we got three saves coming in <laughs> that's true <laughs> uh, dex is their worst though with only a plus seven hey. only a plus seven we got the two dragoons one rolled a 12 and the other rolled a 20 and then davarax rolled a 21. so two saves and a fail so give me some seconds here Ah. I dropped a D8. Um, I heard it. <laughs> so 32 to the one that failed, half that to the two that passed. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, 32, you said? Yeah. Crispy, crunchy 32. Mm. God damn. Well, uh, just like two above bloodied. And 16 to the other two? Uh, yes. Yeah, we'll call him Bruce. Davrax is re-bloodied. Hell yeah. Shit, I'm bleeding again. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Is that it, Percy? Um, well, because it was a bonus for me to pick up my staff, and then I prepped the action, mm-hmm. so that would have been my whole mm-hmm. round. Yeah. Can I move? Okay. Is uh, <laughs> I think it, the thorns are still there. 
the thorns are still there. Yeah, the thorns make it difficult terrain, right? Uh, yeah, it's difficult okay. terrain. If they, I mean, they can fly. So, uh, but if they walk through it, then they take. They have to do another deck save, or take the damage again. Okay. It, if they fly though, which is what they're gonna do, mm-hmm. are they gonna take anything? Uh, let's see. Okay. Yeah, I don't think like moving in and out of the space would make them have to do a, a thing. Okay. So these two are going to fire up their wings and blast up out of the thorns. I take it. So they got to make another save. Uh, no. It's just when the, if they enter the wall, they need to do the save. So if they're okay, flying gotcha. over it, then so they're gonna blast up out of here, and they're gonna get up about Dark. twenty-five feet, and then they're go- both gonna face down and breathe lightning out of their faces. Oh. Uh, one at Percy, one at Sebastian. So both of you guys make dexterity saving throws. Glader, I miss you. Uh, <laughs> you said deck save? Glader is a paladin that Jake played. Yeah, you the yeah deck save. In a game long ago. Uh, 23 for me. Mm. Nice. Uh, 15 for Seb. Okay, so Sebastian, you fail. Gotcha. Um, I don't know if there's half damage on this, so give me a second. I, uh, I'll look it up. I'm going to have another big yeah, turn. Yeah, so soon. it's half damage. So, Sebastian, you take a full 12 lightning damage, and Percy only takes six. Gotcha. But these two are in the air now. Also, Davarax is about to take another D8 of thunder damage because he moved after Booming Blade, right? Davarax hasn't moved yet. Isn't he about to fly away? Is that, I thought that's Davarax doesn't doing. have winged armor. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, so Davarax Never is mind. in the ring still. <laughs> Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Sick. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. Oh, let me try to con save out of that. Uh, I passed. Oh, my turn already passed anyway. The mm. booming energy's gone. Oh, mm, cool. Jake passed his thingy. My con save, yeah. What the fuck? Good con save, dude. I'm, I'm glad you remembered it. <laughs> I got you. I can cast Mending, and hopefully it'll just make everything better, like our relationships. (laughs) (laughs) It's instantaneous. It takes a minute? That's garbage. Why did I take this stupid cantrip? (laughs) It's probably for, like, out-of-combat stuff. (laughs) My guy. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. (laughs) I don't know what made me think Mending was a combat cantrip. I have no idea. A negotiating con- cantrip. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, Sebastian. Did I tell you it was your turn? Oh no. Oh, is that what we're waiting on? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, damn, oh. I'm gonna have to edit this up. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I, I was reading ahead. I thought I. Already told. <laughs> yeah, I thought we were waiting on you. Yeah, uh, sorry. I thought the other guys were gonna go still. Okay. So, so Davrax, we can't see him because he's behind a big wall of thorns right now. He is. So yeah, he's kind of in there. We have the two two that are up in the air and then the other ones we still can't really get a good view on them right because they're coming up from kind of sides in the back of the ships yeah i mean you can, i gotta beat on those you guys you can see and get to either one of them they're kind of in opposite directions the third one is out of sight okay and the ones flying there are what about 25 feet up you said the ones I'm sorry, flying, what? The 25 ones, feet the ones in the air? Or about 25 uh, feet they're 25 there. feet in the air, but another, like, uh, 20 feet forward. Okay. Like, yeah, in front of you. Mm-hmm. Bonus action to pick up any of your weapons. I, I think I'm just going to pick up my, my BFG and take a couple shots to the one, I guess, to the right. Okay, that's fine. Go him Dragoon 2. So that was Pop a bonus a- action to pick up the uh, BFG, and then here comes the two blasts. First one is a 16. Miss. Okay. Next one. Uh, it's going to be a 19. That's also a miss. Okay. Well done. Is that it? Um, I did my bonus action. I did my action. And we're what, about like in a triangle shape, right? Is that what we're doing right now? I guess. I think yeah. so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm at the rear point. Okay. Yeah, I think that's that's about it. That's all I got right now. Okay, so the two that are coming up on the right and left behind, one is going to move forward and is going to cast Hold Person on Percy and Sebastian. So I need... <laughs> let me see. Is it, what, what's the saving throw on this? 
wisdom. Give me a wisdom saving throw. With a plus three. Yeah. Uh, Nineteen. Uh, Twenty-one. That's for a me. success. Oh God, that's a success as well. <laughs> so nothing happens, I don't think, because it's not like a damaging spell. No. It just okay. So that's work. that guy. The other guy's going to do something different, though. I think this one is going to cast Cure Wounds on Davarax. Okay. Does he need to see and him? See here. To Stop yelling that? Davarax. Well. Huh? Does it, does you he, have to see that target? Does he need to, to see heal? him? Oh, can they not be seen yeah. behind your wall? Yeah, through the through the Wall of Thorns, you can't see. Okay, then never mind. He's not going to do that. Well, I guess he has no choice then to attack. So I guess he'll run up on Echo and try and smite him. So this is going to be a long sword attack. Um, where is their attack bonus? <clears throat> Okay, so multiple attacks. Is it two at this level, Sebastian, or is it three? Uh, it, it's two. Okay, it's two. so here comes the first attack, Echo. That's a tw- 17 plus 10. Uh, I will cast shield. That puts it at 27, so do you beat that? That puts me at 27. Okay. Oh, oh wait, you'll tie me and then you'll win. Yeah, oh, exactly. Well, then I'll just get hit, fuck it. Here comes <laughs> the second one, it's much lower, it's 18. Does that just not hit you? The 18 just doesn't hit you? Well, if I decide to shield it, just sh- shield, like, um, what's the damage on the first one? That'll give me a good. Well, the first one's going to be a big smite. So let me see here. Um, it's going to be, sorry, guys, I'm using a character sheet for the first time in years. <laughs> it's all good. What, um, do you mean? what do you mean? Like, a, like, like actual D&D character beyond? Sheet. Yeah. So it's going to be a D8 plus six is just an initial attack, which is. 10 damage and then we're gonna do i think level one slum, smite is 2d8 yeah Never so he'll do d8. 4d8 this will be a level three smite Oof. so here's two more the seven plus four is 11. one plus eight is nine so that's 20 plus i already forgot what my original roll was the d8 plus six. Oh, i wasn't paying attention i'll just re-roll it Neither was I. The four. So four plus six is ten. So thirty. Thirty damage. Okay. Uh yeah, I'll shield the second one. Okay, so the second one doesn't hit you, it bounces off your shield. Right. That's that one's turn. The third one's gonna come around the bend and attempt to hold person. Um we'll do Sebastian and Echo this time. So both of you give me wisdom saving throws. Get your plus three on that. Uh, so that with his plus three, that's a 21. My wisdom's plus five, so that's 26. Nice. You got me on this one, I got 13. Oh, yeah. So, Sebastian, you're paralyzed. Uh, let me go ahead and pull up the spell and read it real quick, just so we're on the same page. Another paralyzer. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. So, you're paralyzed for the duration, which is one minute. At the end of each of your turns, you can make a wisdom saving throw on a success that it ends. And... Yeah, that's it. You're just paralyzed. You you basically don't get a turn next turn until you save this stuff off. Yeah. Um, next up is Davarax. So it's difficult terrain to escape, but it doesn't take damage to escape. It does. If he walks through the the it does the wall, he gets hit by. He has to do another deck save. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, not much else he could do. So that's what he'll do. So here's his deck save. Yeah, it says for Which every... He, I don't think he gets this bonus on. Uh, it says for every one foot of movement, you have to spend four feet. Because you have to move through it, like, slower. For one foot. So every five feet is 20 feet, so right? quarter. And how thick is it? Um, five, feet. five feet thick, yeah. Okay, so he'll be able to get out onto the other side and then move another five feet. I imagine. So... Here's his deck safe. 15 plus three is 18. Uh, yeah, that'll do it. That should save it. Okay. Yeah. But he'll take Mine's half 17. of half the damage. damage. Yes, coming right now. Let's 
fuck. 18 plus 11 is 29. Uh, 30, so half of that is 15. Um, okay, so 15. That puts him at... Uh, yeah, he's, he's looking kind of bad. So he can't really get to any of you guys. With We're going to give him a, a triple-headed flail just because that sounds cool. Um, so he's going to cast Aura of Vitality upon himself. And he begins to glow with a bright, radiant energy. And then he's going to use his bonus action that he can do while this is up and heal 2d6 hit points. So he can do this every turn until his concentration breaks. Mm. So he healed seven hit points. That's his turn. Next up is Echo. Okay, so there's a guy in my face. Was that? Oh, yeah, okay. there's a guy in your face. What about he me? He thinks he's though? cool shit. He thinks he's pretty cool. Oh, he, you're actually before me, huh? But no, because you, you delayed your, your turn. You delin- relinquished so your spot Echo now. Goes before you. Oh, so now I'm permanently behind Echo. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. You guys were back to back, and now you just swapped. I got gotcha. you. Mm. Okay, so I, um, I'll uh, I'll haste in this guy's face. I got a taste for haste, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna eat some haste paste, and then I'm gonna rage on him. Uh, I'm the willing creature that I can see within range, so my speed is double. I get a plus two bonus to AC, advantage on deck saves, additional action for attacking, dashing, disengaging, hiding, using an object. Okay, I will haste and then i will um attack the shit out of this guy okay with a uh just a re- regular attack uh that's 17 plus 9 that hits. uh okay so that's gonna be um d8 plus 5. it's gonna be 8 slash and then for my second attack i will um Hmm. I'll booming blade him. Um, mm-hmm. So I'll go ahead and make another attack roll. Uh, that's night. That's twenty. Dirty twenty. Uh, to hit? No, that's a miss. Okay. Um, so I missed my boomy blade. Uh, what was the damage on the first one though? The first one was eight total slash. Okay. Boom. Do I want to do it again? I'll fucking do it again. Um, <laughs> no, I'll, I'm gonna chill this. I'm gonna chill this turn. I'm gonna tank this guy. Okay. So, Percy, you're up. Um, how far is Seb from me? Not very, right? He's pretty. I mean, close. like ten feet. Uh, I will walk. That I thought it was five. I thought we were all within fine. five. Five foot triangle. That's fine. Five foot triangle. Okay, yeah. I will walk up to Seb and I will cast um, Freedom of Movement on him. So he is no longer paralyzed. Will that take hold person off? Yes. Oh, yeah. Nice. You, Percy. He did that during the Carter fight. I did. The space lock, the um, airlock thing. Mm-hmm. So for the next hour, he can't be paralyzed or restrained. Um, ooh. Ooh. <laughs> nice. Got you. Uh, and then I will start shining bright like a diamond, and I will jump. And <laughs> <laughs> and I will wild shape into the cosmic elemental. Uh, like just right above Very nice. where the starling is and where the boys are, and just give a nice little screech mm-hmm. at the other flying dudes. And that's my turn. Scream! Nice. <laughs> We're gonna fight this guy. Scream! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, where do you go? Are you are you gonna be up in the air now? Uh, yes, I'm flying above the boys. Um, let me see. I have a sixty foot fly speed. Um, mm. So probably I just went up like 30 feet above them. And I'm just okay. Sounds flapping good. like a mulch. Is that it for your turn? Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And that case, the two dragoons are going to meet you in the sky, bro. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> battle. I love it. Um, and they're going to come in and we'll just do one at a time. Sure. Uh, the first one flies in and comes at you with two attacks. It's a low AC, so we'll see what happens. Oh, 25. Oh, yes. 
Um, I'll do the second one then too. And it's even higher, 27. So they both hit. Um, I guess we'll do some Divine Smites, which I know you'll resist, but still. They might Smith. just, uh, so, yes, I do resist them. But they might just knock me out. I'm going, I'm going to, let's see, two plus, two plus six is eight. So that's eight slashing. Here comes all the radiant. So that's 10 plus 14. 24 plus 8 is 32. But 24 gets cut in half, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So after the resistance, it's going to come to 20 damage total. And that's for. Including the oh, 8. That's I actually, just... that's just for the first attack. Including the yeah, 8 I just took? Eight. It was 12 plus Yeah, nine. including the 8. Yeah. So that's 20. Okay, okay. Here comes the damage from the second attack without radiant mm-hmm. anything, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. which is a 5 plus 6, which is 11. Mm hmm. And then here comes a lesser smite, so it's only going to be 3d8. So that's 11 plus 8, 4. So 15. Divided plus into ele- Oh, cut in half, we'll call it 7. So 18 total on that one. So you took a total of 38 damage. Okay, okay. So, okay. Here comes the second Dragoon. Hit me. Roll both attacks. We got 11, which is 21, and we got a 12, which is 22. So they both hit. It's it, We're just going to do identical attacks sure. here. So, um, 11. And then 19 cut in half is eight. Eight, okay. So eight, so that's 19 more damage. Okay. And then the second attack. It's uh, 14. No, wait, 10. 3d8. It's 12, cut in half. So. And then another 16 damage. So 18 plus 16, that's 34. Sweet. So 38 and then 34. So you took a total of 72 damage? Jesus, yes. Shit. How much, how much life do you got left? Uh, I am at 35 <laughs> out Ooh, of... Nice. Yeah, yeah. 35 out of 108 in one fell Yeah, I, no, I thought you might have gone down, so yeah, I, the fact that you have 35 is nice. I still live. <laughs> That's their turn. Sebastian, you're up. You're no longer paralyzed. All right. Okay. Nor so... can you be paralyzed. <laughs> Ever. So we got Ever two again. up in the air. We got Dabrex straight ahead of us. We have just one on Echo right now. Right. Mm-hmm. One on Echo, yeah. And then we got the other two coming up here soon. Yeah. Um, mm. When I picked up my weapons, did I pick up my gun and my sword, or do I? No, pick- you only picked up one. Okay. Um, yeah. Bonus action to get my sword going. Grab that real quick. Mm-hmm. How? Davrax is what? Probably like what? Twenty feet, fifteen feet in front of us. He's now? twenty feet in front of you. I think I did an illegal shield earlier. Oh, oh why? <laughs> I casted a spell that turn. Oh, okay. Did I cast a haste that turn? I might have done an illegal shield. Sorry. No, no. Sorry, Wraith Reaper. It's all good. <laughs> but that's a reaction, uh, though. So. I just can't cast two spells in the same turn unless one's a cantrip. I think it's a bonus action thing, not a reaction thing. Yeah. 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 I think so. Yeah. Okay. Because otherwise, like, why would you be able to... Let me know, Wraith Reaper. (laughs) Wraith Reaper knows. I'm I'm pretty sure you're okay. (laughs) I rely on you. (laughs) Okay. Sorry if I messed up. I'm thinking of the cool stuff I can haste with now. (laughs) Bonus actions used. Picked up my sword. Seb's going to walk up to that Davrex. He's going to go mano a mano with Davrex. Kill him. Yeah, let's let's see it. Take a couple swipes here. I left that butter out on the counter for you, Seth. Yeah. Get him. <laughs> <laughs> Spread him on some toast. Uh, let's see. First attack. Send him to hell. Fourteen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you gotta no. remember that. Yeah, uh, that's what your kills do, no. my dude. So first one shouldn't have come here. He shouldn't be here. He shouldn't be here. Uh, second one's a twenty-one. That's also a miss. Oof. Yeah. Uh, and that it for your turn. I use my movement bonus action and action. So. Okay, so oh, I will say I'm just trying to figure out how many second level yeah. slots I have, and I can't. Oh, I can tell. 
Yeah. I can tell. Oh, I still have a third level slot. Too. I can see. <laughs> I can fight. <laughs> okay, so Echo, how are you looking HP wise? Oh, I was going to say I look fucking great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you do. I am a big robot. Or I'm a medium sized robot or whatever. Uh, I've got 39 HP. Okay. Well, the one that's in front of you is about to attack you twice. Good luck, motherfucker. Let's see where this goes. <laughs> is your shield still up? No, but I'm hasted and I haven't shielded. What is it? He gives you plus two, I right? Got plus two nice. AC. I'm, I'm sitting pretty on uh, 24 AC base right now. Nice. Two attacks coming in. Deuces. Okay. Well, I think both are going to miss. One's at 22 and one's at 21. I'm Gucci. I don't even yeah. got a shield. Okay. So yeah, he, he's just slicing and missing. Um, dancing. The uh, one's gonna come in on. Well, it has to be Sebastian, actually. So Sebastian. Oh no, he can't reach you. Echo. Thank God you have that AC, because now you're gonna have two paladins coming in at you. I'm made for this. Um, <laughs> come at the. Come at me, bro. Welp. The one who casted hold person is going to try and cast hold person on Echo. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> so Echo, you'll probably be fine, but give me a give me a wisdom saving throw. Okay. Uh oh. Uh -oh. That bad? I think I failed it because uh, it's with 10 with the the Bastion bonus. Oh, <laughs> yeah. No, that's a fail. 16, you're paralyzed. Shit. Mm, another paralyzer. Does that mean my haste drops? Can I not hold concentration? I think you can hold concentration. It didn't. I looked at paralyze, it didn't mention it. Well, wait. It. When you're paralyzed, you're you're two things. You're not just paralyzed. You're also incapacitated. Yeah, I don't think I, I think can't you do concentration. Drop. If I'm incapacitated, you just can't take actions or reactions. It doesn't mention anything about concentration. Okay, I'm concentrating. <laughs> um, so then the other one's going to come up, and the thing about being paralyzed is all attack rolls have advantage, um, and any hits an auto crit. Um, Did he just take his turn with his. Spell? No, no. There's there's a third one. Oh, a third guy. Yeah. Sebastian moved away. They can't get to him. So now yeah. you got three paladins Just on you. Boy. Um, ah. <laughs> I understand haste gives you a plus two, but you can't move. So it doesn't yeah. really make sense that you have the plus two part. Uh, I'm concentrating on it, man. Like it's magic. <laughs> so I think I think it. I think it, you're letting the spell gonna, stay up. I'm going to do get the effects a quick Google haste and hold person. I guess it's just I guess it's just advantage, but you can you keep the AC bonus. Which makes no physical sense, but fuck it, let's do it. Well, it's just magic. <laughs> yeah, magic. You're just vibrating really fast. <laughs> the, spell, the spell haste doesn't make physical sense. Okay, so here we got two attacks. What's your AC? Uh, 24. 24, okay. So I, they have to roll a 14 or better to hit you. So I can't take reactions either right now? No, no, nothing you can do. That that part. Well, that was a 17. That's not enough. Um, just picture them actually hitting me and it's bouncing off my armor. Right. Uh, no, no, no. Sorry, that was a 17 plus 10, so it's a 26. Okay, well, that's going to hit me, dude. Yeah. Um, so we're looking at a lot of D8s, so many damn D8s. He's going to do a level two smite. So here's just the initial attack, which is a D, it's 11 plus six, that's 17. And then it should be, it should be one, two, three, it should be six of these. So that's 11 on top of the initial hit. Oh no, so, God damn it, Ugh, math. It was 17 in, plus 11, right? No, 11 is just the two I rolled right now. I don't know why. Yeah, so you did 17 there. and then 11 right uh -huh, now. Yeah. So that should be 28. 28. Yeah. 11, and then it should be plus 12 because this was 11 right here, but there was four other D8s I just rolled and my mind blanked and I did not categorize <laughs> oh. them at all. But I think it was a total of 12 because it was a nine and then a three, yeah, so. Plus 12. So 17 plus 11 plus 12 is the total damage of the crit. Okay, well, I'm down. Okay, Echo's down. He's By like got one no HP. one else to Fuck. attack. <laughs> and so that ends his turn. There's a third person. What are they going to do? <laughs> so much to keep track of. Um, oh, you know, the other one's going to cure Gabrax because I can do that at 30 feet. So he's going to move up. Cast Cure Wounds, and that is 3d8 plus 4 at a level... No, he doesn't have any more level 3s, so level 2. It's 2d8 plus 4. So Dabrak heals... 11. And 
it's Davarex's turn. And Davarex is going to go mano a mano with uh, Sebastian. He's going to say, what terrible price have you paid for your new master slave? <laughs> and here are his attacks. They, Damn, I told they you that is. in confidence, Dad. 20, 22, does that hit your AC? Uh, actually, yeah, 22 is my AC right oh, now. Oh, shit, okay. Yeah, I haven't hasted so. yet. He'll do his full smite and all that, but uh, it'll just be one attack hits, the other one missed. So, it's four plus six is 10. Like, write it down so I don't forget 10. And then we got 48s coming in. Eight plus four is 12. Eight plus four is 12. So 34 damage to Sebastian. And then he'll use a bonus action to heal himself 2d6, which is four. Echo, you're I'm making dead. death safe. Oh, yeah, okay. That would have been a cool nat 20. Uh, I succeed. Uh, okay, so you're good. Percy, you're up in the sky. Uh, do I save Echo? I did roll an 11, so I don't need saving yet. But I mean, like, get you up. But if you, you shoot up, me I a mean. heal, I'll probably instantly die again, because I'm last in the order after you go. Ooh, shit, this that's is right. True. That's very true. I like, feign sleepiness. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Like, also, um, my neg on haste has probably just got absorbed by a death save, so that's that's a plus. Like haste drops, you can't take a turn, but I just saved. So okay, like that turn is gone, so I don't think that applies anymore. Right. It's true. It's true. Just let me die. <laughs> well, I don't want you to die, but shit, I didn't think about it. You like going last now? Um, after all of them, because I was gonna heal you now. Yeah, I, I would do something else and kind of let let me kind of do my own thing yeah it doesn't look like they're here to kill us it just looks like they're here to capture us so i will um is there a way that i can position myself so i can um so i can hyper beam both of these flying dragoons mm, you'd have to move away which would be opportunity attacks mm -hmm. they can smite on those and they can Oh, I didn't know that because I wasn't gonna. <laughs> I'm pretty sure just whenever you hit with an attack, <laughs> might, yeah. but, Paladins are stupid. I'm pretty sure. Uh, in that case, I will uh, just try to smack the pally in front of me. I assume there's one in front of me, right? Okay. Uh, with a slam. Yeah, there's two. Slam attack. Uh, <clears throat> for a nat 20. What's the wideness of your beam? Uh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> crit. Ooh. Uh, Tell us the wideness of your beam, Jacob. <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't say. Is it 10 feet wide? Because then you get at both of them. It just says plus 8 to hit, five feet wide. range 30 feet, 3d10. That's all it says. Oh, it's single target. Yeah, I think so. And same with the slam, right? It's not like an area of effect. Okay, you crit one. I'll take it you you crit the one who's more, who's bloody. Yeah, sure. Fuck that guy. Uh, what are the, <laughs> uh, the non-Sebastian crit rules? Do I roll my dice and then double them? Is that what it is? What is, I can't forget. I, I, you roll I twice. Roll twice. I, yeah, you roll twice. So if I have 2d8 plus yeah, normal three, crit rolls are. I do 4d8. If I normally have two, right? Yeah. Plus six. Okay. Plus six. Yeah. Okay. Nine plus five. Uh, eight Fifteen plus six, so twenty-one damage to that guy. With a with a okay. healthy smack from my tail. Yeah, he's pretty banged up, but he's still he's still going. Uh, and then bonus action, I will attempt to heal myself. <laughs> See how that goes. And that's my turn. Okay. Did you do a heal? I did do a heal. I'm just, I'm tabulating right oh, now what I, cool. it's going to take a little bit for me to see. I see. So these two are going to continue trying to knock you out of the sky. Mm -hmm. um, you basically have four attacks incoming. So first attack is a 21. Second attack is a 20. I rolled a 10 and 11. They both hit. 
Okay. And now that I see that they each still have one third level slot left, we're going to use it. Of course. So a lot of D8s kind of coming. Here we go. I'm just going to do this. Sweet thing. So the six plus six is 12 starting. And then nine plus that's a six. 20, 20 cut in half is 10. So the first attack is 22 damage after resistance. Okay. The second attack is only going to be a level two slot. Second attack. I rolled a one plus six is seven. So we're starting with base seven. Hell yeah, fail. Plus 11, 16, so 15 more damage. 15 more? Okay. How are you looking? Because you got another Dragoon about to attack you. Uh, I am almost down. I have 19 HP. Okay, well, here comes the first attack. Oh, 15. 15, does that hit? Yes. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's I, I have, sure. I have okay. Perseus. I have 13, so. Gotcha. <laughs> They're probably okay. going to hit me. <laughs> You've been hit twice again. Uh, cool. I'm probably down. So that's six. This will be a level two smite. So that's base of six. Um, actually, math. Base of eight. Excuse me. So this comes math. Ten plus ten. So we're looking at 18 damage. Ooh, still up. You said, uh, I think you said you had 19 life? Uh, yes, yeah, I have lives. one HP okay. right now. Okay. <laughs> The, the cosmic is just... So here comes the second attack. Wholeheartedly flapping. Okay. Um, that was the 19. So without a smite, it's a total of 14 damage because I rolled an 8 plus 6. So you... I take it transform back into Percy? Yes. You're not unconscious though, right? No. So I no, took just takes the care 14, the you said, right? So I take HP. 13. And then I'm going to fall out of the sky though. <laughs> Yeah, which we need to roll for. And I'm trying to remember, is it a D6 for every five feet? I think so. I think it's every 10. It's 10 for every 10 feet. So it's going to be 3D6. Cool. Um, not that much. Seven more damage. Oh, okay. Poof. And you hit the ground. Smack. Ow. Sebastian, it's your turn. <laughs> yeah, things are not looking good, are they? <laughs> nah, I'm dying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and Percy just got the Galactic Bird smacked out of her. Yes, she did. So Sebastian's going to be like, Davrax, you don't understand the complexity of the situation. If you postpone uh, us from our mission right now, we may not ever see the light of day. We are Davrax doomed. says, If my life has to lay down now for the chance of trying to, to save all of us, I'm willing to do that. I have made my deals in order to save us all has nothing to do other than that, other than for the greater good. He says, I'm not the one you have to convince of that, Sebastian. Surrender now, let us take you in. You can make your case to whoever you wish, mm. but I'm under orders. I, I think at this point, he's gonna have to surrender. Okay, do you lay yeah. down your arms? He looks at Davrex. Please guide me. And Sebastian looks up, says a little something to himself, lays down his weapons. Okay. Um, Echo, you're knocked out. Percy, you see this though. Do you? Do you also surrender? Oh, do I? Do I see it? And I just see him. Just yeah, we'll his say you landed and down. you're like you're hurt or whatever. You look over and you see Sebastian lay down his weapons. Yeah, your booty hurts. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Um. I'll just yell out to Sebastian. Are we are we surrendering? <laughs> is it is we, it over? We have no other we have no other choice. I mean, I can still open a couple cans of whoop ass, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> I still have two cans. <laughs> <laughs> we we have virtually done nothing to what four of these paladins. I mean, uh, you I guys have done that, a lot of damage. Man. It's been spread out a little bit. Yeah. yeah. We did. We've done a, some work. We've yeah, and Davrax got healed four times. Yeah, because yeah, he, he had to. Yes. Yeah, I could. I could take. I mean, I'm just saying we could prolong this fight a little bit longer if we wanted well, to. We're gonna lose Echo if we do so. I think. Uh, they're not gonna kill him. I could still get back up. I got a nat twenty in me somewhere. I haven't rolled one yet. 
Yeah, I'll just look at I'll just look at Sebastian. Hey. <laughs> so Sebastian. You doing the surrender? It's on Percy, man. Sebastian's ready to. Well, then in that case, Percy, it's on you. Sebastian already laid down his arms. He took his arm off. He put it on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> uh... I didn't have time to slot that one in earlier. Thank God I had the opportunity now. Uh, I'll just say, can I go over to our companion and get him up? Will you allow that? He says, <clears throat> we will attend to his wounds. Lay down your arms now. Do you all surrender? And uh, begrudgingly, she'll throw the wand or her staff on the floor. Okay. And then Deverick says, at this point, like the Dragoons land and whatnot, and like the the other Legionnaires kind of like take a step back and they're still forming that ring around you. And Deverick says, you'll have to forgive me if I can't take your word for it. And he holds up his hands like off to the sides and all the other Legionnaires and Dragoons do the same. And a large circular sigil appears on the floor uh, in, within the ring that they form underneath all your feet. And he says, I invoke Dominion's law. And Sebastian and Percy, you both feel, I'll, I'll go ahead and give you um, a save. Give me a charisma save. This is going to be a really high save, though. Can you beat a 23? This is. I, got a, I got a plus 10, so let's see here. So maybe. I don't think I could, even if I nat 20. You got a 21. I rolled a <laughs> Okay. Fuck. Go yeah. for it, Percy. I rolled a 10. Minus one. Okay, you both feel compelled to get on your hands and knees. Not not so much in a grovel, but in like acquiescence to a law stronger than your own will. And you're bound to the floor. And at this point, the legionnaires move forward and handcuff you. They heal Echo and they handcuff him as well. And they drag you guys out of this harbor into the um, way station. And that is where we're ending today's mm. session ah. of Super Quest Saga. <laughs> if you guys mm. like what we do here, if you like the show, please like, comment, subscribe below. Please leave a review on iTunes. Uh, please tell your friends. Please spread the word on social media. Um, and uh, yeah, I think we can call it a game. <sighs> Ugh, crazy. We'll oh, talk to you guys later. Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Disappointment.